Hi there, we're going to make our first calc with light stands out together. So the first thing that we can do is we can either make a new clean design with a canvas. The other thing we could do is we can drag and drop a background. So in this case, I'm going to drop in an image backgrounds and it's going to open up into a new design. And I could have dragged and dropped a PDF, a CAD file, and even 3D formats from SketchUp and Rhino. So once this image formats in, the first thing we want to do is uh, scale it because it's not dimensioned yet. So we could take a known quantity like a doorway and we could change the dimension to three feet. And now it's scaled. And then from here, we can go ahead and draw some geometry. And if you didn't have a background, this would be the place that you'd start. You'd go ahead, draw a box, and we're going to draw it here. And I'm going to use the shift key to get it to line up. You can see it's 10 feet high and we could have changed it. And uh, now we can even look at it in 3D. So we can actually see that this box is here. And we can go back to 2D mode. And we can go ahead and do some layouts. And so I don't have any fixtures right now, but I could drag and drop them from um, an IS file. And I'm just going to drop it in. And then suddenly, here's my fixture. It puts me in place mode. It's at 9 feet by default here. I can go ahead and start a layout. And you can see the dimensions here. And once I have this done, I can go ahead and run a calculation. And let's just use the defaults. And when I run this calculation, I'm going to hit Escape. And I'm going to go into 3D. If I go to a corner, view location in 3D, it faces inwards. And I could run another uh, rendering at the same time. In addition, if I wanted to get fancy, I can add geometry to these IS files. The way I can do that is I can right click. I could replace the geometry. If I want to, I could use some uh, standard geometry from Revit. And I could even make another rendering. So uh, that's sort of how you can get started to do your first calcs and your first renderings. And when they come back, here we go. We could take a look at the results. This looks great. And you can look at this results in 2D like this. You could look at it in 3D. And there's some adjustments you can make at the bottom too. And here's what a rendering could look like. And this is what it looks like in a report. So uh, thanks and happy calculating.